this is what I normally pack on a weekend mountaineering trip in the Pacific Northwest. This could be something similar to climbing Mount Baker, which is about a two to three day trip. Um, I'm going to show you how to pack your pack and I'm going to show you the basic equipment that you need. All right, so I've got my pack, I've got my equipment, now I got to get it in my pack. Um, typically, you want your center of gravity low, so I like to pack heavy items near my back and items that I don't use a lot towards the bottom. So think about accessibility and balance weight and comfort. From left to right, you should evenly balance out the weight. First thing I'm gonna do is take my water and my fuel, which are some of the heavier items. And a lot of these backpacks have pouches near your back, so I would pack those in first. Um, I also like my sleeping bag at the bottom because typically I don't need that till the end of the day. So I like to use a compression sack where I can cinch it down tight and small. In some cases, you can actually, if you have a thermorest, you can fit your thermorest and your sleeping bag in together um, to save, save on space. The other heavy item is climbing gear usually. So a lot of your carabiners, anchors, um, harness has a lot of metal parts, fuel, stove, stick all those near the back. Now when I say near your back, you have to be careful because you don't want a lot of sharp items poking you in the back. So if it's a sharp item, you can kind of evenly distribute the weight. But the other thing I like to pack at the bottom of my pack are crampons, especially if I'm going up to my base camp, I might not need them right away. Um, I like to take, make sure your crampons, they have really sharp edges, so make sure they have um, some, some type of rubber or other protective material on the sharp teeth. And I like to take just a normal bag to put them in, because later on when you take them off, they're probably gonna be wet from the snow, and so you don't want your equipment getting wet from your crampons. Some of them ha come with special pouches you can carry on the outside of the pack. If that works for you, great. Uh, helmet. Medical kit. Some people like to pack easily accessible um, for emergencies. I tend to pack it towards the bottom of my pack. If I feel like I have an emergency, I, the adrenaline would be kicking in so I could actually Get, get it out pretty quick and and it's something that I normally don't use a lot and so I'll pack that at the bottom. Um, space blanket for another emergency item pack towards the bottom and then most of your clothing I, on the trail I typically dress pretty light and I'll leave my Gore-Tex top, Gore-Tex bottoms, hat and gloves out and maybe one other jacket but then the rest of my clothing I like to pack towards the bottom. I'll take a thermarest or another type of pad, a foam pad. Um, sometimes I might take both if it's going to be really cold outside. Depending on the trip, you need to add or remove items. If it's a simple backpacking trip, you don't need a lot of climbing gear. Um, if it's rock climbing, you might need different climbing gear, so adjust according to what you're doing. On these thermorests, it helps if you open them up and let the air out before you pack them in, and then once it's nice and tight, I close it off again. Now remember I said have water close to your back, but you also need water that's easily accessible, so a lot of times I'll keep one bottle on the outside, or if you have a hydration system inside your pack, run the tube through. Next comes my cooking gear and food. Of course I'm going to leave my lunch and snacks easily accessible, but the rest, dinner, you can pack in. Stove, cook kit, pack it in. Any open spots, make sure you fill them. Left with Gore-Tex. In case it starts raining on me, I have that fairly accessible at the top. Essential items, map, compass, radio, um, sunscreen, sunglasses, knife, um, metal match, all those things. I like to pack at the top. I've still got a little bit of room left at the top. You can actually 
create even more room if you need it. Most packs have a zippered flap at the top and then another one on the top as you open it up on the inside. I utilize both spaces. In fact, um, gloves and hat can go in there. Never know when you'll need those. If it's summertime, I'd probably pack those down lower. I won't use them till summit day when I'm going up from base camp to the summit. Um, if it's springtime or um, wintertime, definitely pack them towards the top. Water purifier, I like to keep at the top. In fact, what I'll do, um, so I don't have to carry a lot of water, I plan my route really well, know where I'm gonna cross streams and lakes and have my water purifier accessible. That way I don't have to carry water. I can stop along the way and fill up my water. Gators, I'm probably going to wear. If I'm not going to wear them, I just leave them on the outside. The other thing you want to note is I initially I keep all my straps fairly loose until it's time um, to tighten them. Your ice axe, with your ice axe, the pick, the end of the pick can be dangerous. So you want to make sure you have some type of protective cover. You can buy those or you can improvise one out of cardboard or leather. And a lot of the backpacks have loops at the bottom. These loops are specifically made for your ice axe. Most climbing packs have them. So you insert your ice axe into the loop and then you twist it around three, four times till it's fairly tight and just leave it. Later on, um, if your pack has a strap at the top, you could strap it in. I usually wait till I close the top and that's where I strap it in. My rope, I like to carry on top. It helps me balance my pack because I could adjust it from side to side. Um, some packs have a line that actually clips over and holds the rope in. And along with the rope, I like to put my tent at the top. Usually when I'm climbing, I'm climbing with buddies. If I'm carrying a tent, we'll take the poles, the rain fly, and the actual tent and divide it amongst three people so it's a lot lighter. Take your ice axe. Strap it in, cinch it down. I'm also left with a snow shovel. I use it mostly for my shelter site in the summertime and in the wintertime for snow caves and emergencies like avalanches. Then inside the snow shovel, there's also a snow saw. Some snow shovels actually have avalanche probes inside them. My snow shovel's in there. Typically climbers carry pickets. I like to have my picket with my webbing and a carabiner ready to go. I like to keep that on the outside of the pack because it makes the most logical sense. It's, it's a long metal object or aluminum object and I just pack that in next to my shovel. Then I cinch down the straps. If I have another pad it can go on the back. A lot of your packs will have straps for it either two or you could even use a single strap if you strap it in tight enough. Mountaineering boots. Your crampons will attach to these plastic mountaineering boots. Some boots are actually crampon compatible so you could wear your hiking boots up the trail to base camp and then from base camp to the summit with crampons on. Um, if you have plastic boots a lot of times you could wear them if, you're, if they're comfortable enough. Most people like to carry them that's where they would use a strap or something and attach them to the outside of their pack. Um, I typically wear mine. They're comfortable enough. 